Every religious vocation begins with a call, God reaching out, speaking to you, and that call is often shrouded in mystery, as God often speaks to a man in surprising and personal ways. It was July of 2012 when four men who don't know each other asked me, have you ever thought about religious life? It was the fourth inquiry within the span of a week where I said, Father, I will do whatever you ask, but please tell me. I'm listening to the radio, and on the radio comes an announcement from the Alexian brothers, who I'd never heard of before. And the Alexian brothers were looking for men between the ages of 20 and 55 who were interested in a healing charism, helping people heal throughout their lives. And I thought to myself, suddenly, is this it, God? No, God. I didn't want the struggle of marrying or giving myself over to the church to continue anymore in this life. And so I told God, all right, this is it. This is my last time I'm going to Google. And if nothing comes up, God, it's over. I Googled and this website came up for older vocations. And I opened up the page. And of course, the Alexian brothers being alphabetically, the letter A came up first. So I clicked on them and said, well, who are these guys? So I began reading about them. God calls men from every walk of life to consider religious life in community. There's no one cookie cutter candidate. God calls men who are teachers and truckers, plumbers and accountants, salesmen and mechanics. got a commercial driver's license and uh, drove for a little while over the road coast to coast. All right, and you're going to feel that's going to tighten up a little bit on your arm. I've been in nursing for the past 36 years as a hospital nurse. And then from there, I moved out into the community and I began a career as a community health nurse. Our inner struggles are meant to be conquered by us. I got a job with Halliburton working in Iraq for three years. Went all the way from the Syrian borders to the Iranian borders to Turkey on top. I studied for a while and became a, a hospice nurse. I'm a land surveyor technician uh, by trade. I work outside and dealing with different land surveying equipment. I worked in Arizona on train derailments. And then there's a big old oil strike and there's lots of money in Williston, North Dakota, so off to Williston, North Dakota I went. I worked there for about two years. I also have a history of selling real estate in the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This call, from living as an individual to one living in community, can challenge us. We have to make changes in our life, a life in which we may be very settled and comfortable. After many years of renting an apartment, I was able to save enough money for a house. When I got a new car, I have a good job with great benefits. When it dawned on me where I was thinking, oh my goodness, all these things that I have, what good are they? I had a house. I had successful relationships with family and friends. I had become a strong member of the local community that I lived in. Even though that I had reached the height that I had reached, there seemed to be something else that was gnawing away at me, and that was a deeper relationship, a deeper personal relationship with Christ that I just wasn't able to accomplish in uh, the living that I was doing. What prevented marriage from taking place was that soft draw, the invitation, of one day having a home within Christ, within the church. It's somewhat of a mystery to explain. It's just this beautiful draw, this beautiful feeling of peacefulness that comes through. And so, here I am. I went from Lutheranism to Coptic Orthodoxy, and then I went to the Catholic Church, and I had to take RCIA classes in order to be able to join. And there started my journey towards the Alexian Brothers. 
we, Alexian Brothers, reverence our long history of healing ministry. Formerly, we served very directly as nurses and medical practitioners, but now we offer healing in a broadened sense, walking with people, enduring pain, loneliness, and suffering. Men that are coming into the Alexian Brothers need to discern if they're willing to get their hands dirty, work with the poor. As an 800-year-old order, that has always been our charism to work with those marginalized in society. They have a deep interest in reaching out to those who are marginalized, excluded, the sick, poor, the hungry, the homeless. I began to understand that you can be just a common, ordinary man such as myself, nothing particularly special, and to do extraordinary things, to defend and be the voice of the voiceless, to work and provide, hopefully, a place of dignity for those who no longer find themselves of any value, to actively minister the love of Christ through self to others. When the time's right, then you'll have a roommate. We have a program that's called TLP, Transitional Living Program, and that program is dealing with people that have mental issues. It allows our participants to stay up to two years in a structured environment. Now, out of that hundred, you still have to buy your toiletries. They learn coping skills, they learn cooking skills, they learn how to manage a budget. People come to talk to me about their faith. We pray together for their needs, their loved ones, their sons or daughters. The Alexian brothers are in a phase of exploration into how they can continue their healing ministry in today's world, to rediscover the margins of society where pain and suffering are always the greatest. Hey Bill, I got something for you. I'm really proud of you. Wow, this is, this is from time. the brothers. One of our values is partnership, and that allows us to, to look at the needs of today and not reinventing the wheel, but seeing uh, a, an existing ministry that may need the brothers' help and support. When no one else wanted to care for AIDS patients, the Alexian brothers stepped up to the plate. They started a program in Chicago called the Bonaventure House. She tries to see the face of Jesus in everyone she meets. We aren't ordained priests, we are a lay ministry, which again allows us to see the needs of today without worrying about a parish. Good job, Brad. <laughs> As we move forward into the future, we want to be able to have brothers that have a heart to work with the poor. The Alexian brothers are always on the cutting edge. They're always looking for what is the next marginalized group of people. This is Brother Steve with the Alexian brothers. They will be working in areas where it may not be as safe as they may be accustomed to, but knowing that they're going with God and God is with them and that the brothers in the past have done that. And that is our purpose, that is our charism. I don't worry about tomorrow. I always try to do a little bit better today. Christ will be with us no matter how difficult it becomes. Mm -hmm. It's often important for me to undo myself and allow myself to be redone and to understand that there is a fraternity here. And it's no longer I, but it becomes a we. I, I vow and, and promise to Almighty God, God to live in the congregation of Alexian Brothers if you feel the Lord is calling you gently, gradually, or even very clearly, we invite you to consider life with us as an Alexian brother. We're men with an 800-year-old tradition of service, prayer, and community. We're not frozen in time, but dynamically active in seeking out God's will for us as a congregation today. We'll never abandon our tradition and core values but we're open to the movement of the Spirit in shaping our lives today and into the future. If you're here for a very comfortable, secure life, you're in the wrong place because it is not gonna be comfortable and it's not gonna be secure, but there's something new in the wind. I think we have to be attentive to whatever this something new is. It's a, a very, very exciting time. This is really about a deepening relationship and an opportunity to serve, an opportunity to say yes. Yes, to daily communal prayer and sharing in the Eucharist. Yes, 
to serving and walking with those on the margins. Yes, to over 800 years of men living the Alexian tradition in service, in brotherhood, in fidelity. Yes, to life as an Alexian brother. Thank you.